what is going on guys welcome back to another video in today's video i will be showing you guys how to paint an easy beginner lure pattern and the paint we're gonna be using is opaque black fluorescent fluorescent green and then opaque white so these will be the four colors we'll be using for this easy lure pattern for beginners but I was gonna film an ice fishing video to, you know, change it up, make an ice fishing video, but that turned south after we fell through the ice. But anyways, let's get to painting this fishing lure, create text white. This will be our base coat and it'll kind of brighten up the colors. So let's throw some of that in it, not too much, just a little bit. Again, this is the first coat of white. We're going to be putting more coats as we go. We're going to heat set this and we will be going to the next color. Okay guys, so we got our base coat of white right here. And by the way, I'm using a spook from Lurebill Blanks. And so now the next step is to get like a stencil like this. Well, I cut this out myself and it, I made a little triangle. And then what you're gonna do is lay it like that and paint the green stripes. And the green we're gonna be using, which I showed you, is fluorescent green right here. And let's put some of that in the airbrush and let's get to painting the stripes. Getting it done. Okay, so we have that so far. Okay, so for the next thing that we're gonna do, we just did the stripes. So now we're gonna leave the leave the paint in the airbrush. Same paint, same exact fluorescent green, and we're gonna do it on the back. The top of the paint. And we're gonna layer up these colors. This is gonna be an awesome looking lure. Flip it over. You can see it has that fluorescent green. Okay, so for the next color, we're gonna do opaque black. This will be our third color. This is basically what we did with the green stripes like this, but we're gonna go over them with this black. So it kind of gives it a neater look. So let's do that. Kind of like that, and that looks pretty awesome. So let's do the same thing to that. And you wanna put it kind of like that right there. Make sure you have it pressed down tight to the bait.
That is looking pretty neat. This is gonna be an awesome spook. And it kind of leaves that right there. That's that's my favorite. So we're gonna do the same thing to the whole bait. Right here's the lure and it is looking awesome right now. But now what we're gonna do is make a stripe down the back. And I am using black. Kind of like that. It gives it that neat look, like that. Oh yeah, this is gonna be an awesome lure. Look at that mean machine. All right, so now the next step is I'm gonna kind of mark the gill plate out and I'm gonna be using a stencil for that, which this one right here I'll use. So. Boom, right there. Here, guys, it is an easy, sick, awesome looking lure pattern that you guys can make, that you guys can paint. This is an easy one. I came up with this one just messing around with paints and that. And this is a very, very neat color. And you guys should try this. This is very good for beginners and that, like what I already said. Let's put some eyeballs on this bad boy and then we're gonna clear coat it. Okay, I just put the eyes on, on it and I put some cool dragon eyes right there or snake eyes. They, they fit in very, very good with the lure. Right there they are. So let's get to clear coating this and then I will show you guys the reveal. Clear coat time. My favorite time. As you can see, we have our awesome lure right there. So let's dip it. Let's sneak. Yep, it'll work, it'll work. Dip it nice and slowly. Right there, guys, is the lure. Look at how good that clear turned out. That clear coat turned out amazing. I'll see you guys in 24 hours. It has been 24 hours and Right there is our lure. This thing turned out like amazing. You can like see all the details on the back. The clear coat is like shimmering. It's awesome. Look at that thing. Oh, I'm gonna scratch it. But right here is the lure. And what's very awesome about this is that it's easy and it looks cool. So any be beginner can do it who's just like, getting into painting fishing lures and that. This is an easy pattern and it's a very fun and effective one to make.
But I hope you guys liked today's video. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace.